Ten show, guys. I right. love the Ten show. All right. Thank you so much, Justin. If you're bringing beads back, we'll definitely have more things to organize, which is our next subject. Winter weather comes with gloves, hats, jackets, and just about everything else that's difficult to get organized, especially when there are a number of people in the household trying to do it all at the same time. Good news is we've got some help. Rachel the Shepherd from Hesh Home Magazine, online editor for Fresh Poems Blog is there. Rachel, great to see you. Great to see you, too. This is, this is an ongoing problem. Right. Right, and just like we're talking about more snow coming in, I mean, we've been totally pelted in the Northeast, and so everybody is coming in with all of their hats and gloves and scarves. If you've got like four kids in the house, four people in the house, they're all putting them everywhere. It's like an explosion of winter gear. And you can't, it's really hard to organize these things, but we've got five really simple ways that you can do it. They're easy, and the best part, at Fresh Home, we love to personalize things, so the best part is that all of this stuff can be personalized, and are easy, fun, like DIY projects for your kids. And a reasonably priced, too. I mean, Absolutely. this is not going to set you back much. I think the anything. most expensive thing we have on this table is like $12. All right, and yeah. some things you can repurpose. I mean, a lot of people might have one of these Right, so this is just already. a very um, basic, over-the-door shoe organizer, and I just think that these can be used for so many different purposes. I use them for all my makeup and things like that. But in the laundry room, put one of these behind the door, put it on the wall, and give every um, family member a row. And so mom and dad can be on top, all of their gear goes on top, kids can be on the bottom, because that's what they can reach. And then everybody has a place to put their stuff. And it's clear, so you can see, you know, if you're missing a glove, where, the, where it is. So this The is clear great. ones are great. And these are great, too, because it looks like they'd be about the right size for a bottle of wine. Uh, this may be not get appropriate, but for the adults, that's what's going on my road. That's winter gear in another better way, right? Yeah. <laughs> Canvas bags, everybody's got them. Right, you've got these. Um, I love this idea because it's very good for like on the go. Because it's really hard to get your kids like dressed and ready to go in the morning. Um, we're always rushing around. I'm guilty of this too. So what's so great about these is that you can um, personalize them. You can do a little project with your kids, scrap fabric, put their initials on there. Keep all of their gear in there, so then when you're ready to go and get in the car, all you have to do is grab your kid's bag, give it to them in the back seat, and tell them to bundle up, and then they're good to go. So you don't it, is, it, it is always a last-minute dash oh out gosh, there. Yeah. But yeah. before you put it in there, you have to you make sure it's dried out, which is right. another challenge. These That's days. my big pet peeve: is when you go outside and. All, you know, your, your gloves especially are just sopping wet by the time you get in. So baskets, you know, are one of our favorite ways to organize anything. But these wire gym baskets are great for the cold, wet winter gear because they're going to dry out. Um, and so you've got the ventilation. But again, you can kind of personalize it. You can put your kids' names up on the front. We well, can even actually ask them to help you personalize right. them, right? right? So they can it's decorate their own. Yeah, it's a project for them, which is good. And to help dry things out even Again, more, especially yes. if they've come home yes. from playing in the snow or sledding, like I Justin Peasy. His stuff has been so damp lately. You know, this he's will help for him. Every he occasion he has, he's, he's sledding. So this is fun because, um, you, again, you know, a project for your kids. They can um, personalize these little clothes hangers. I mean, this is so simple. It's just clothesline. Bring it inside. You can hang these in the closet underneath your coat. So it's oh, you don't have level. the children just hold them up? No. I mean, I guess if you wanted to, you could. But <laughs> maybe you should just it's attach a, It's it a game, somewhere. kids. Exactly. Keep playing. Exactly. So, How just, long can you so this is a, you don't need a lot of rope, obviously, no. for this. No. But you can buy like a whole thing of it for like $5 and it'll last you forever. Um, and then just have the, your kids hang their stuff up and it's good to go. And then once they're uh, dry, you pop them into the canvas bag and you're ready to go, right? Exactly. exactly. Now, you've even found a purpose, a repurpose right. for aprons. Right. At Fresh Home, we really love to repurpose things. Um, so this is a, actually a full apron that we cut off the top, cut off the strings, added these grommets, and then, you know, had kids decorate for hat and mittens with, like, puff paint, which is so cute. Um, because these aprons have built-in storage in them. And so, you know, even if you have, like, an old apron that has sentimental value to you that you want to keep, but maybe it's a little tired, you don't want to wear it anymore, just repurpose it for this. Put the grommets, hang it up, um, and then you've got an instant place for hat and mittens. What, what type of paint did you say that was? This is, like, puff paint. Puff Puffy paint. paint? Yeah, you know, from, like, from elementary school when you're doing crafty projects. They had invented that when I was in elementary Sorry. school. Well, it, was, it was still black and white back then. Was it? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Like, now they've got all these great colors. It could, it could work in black and white, too. Yeah. <laughs> more information on your blog? Yes, on freshhomeblog.com. And then we've got more winter organization issue uh, ideas in our winter issue, which is on newsstands right now. Very good. Yeah. Well, Rachel DeShepard, thank, so thank you so much for great Thanks. tips to keep the keep warm. Entire, <laughs> entire family warm exactly. and organized. Exactly. All right, still to come on the 10 show.